all of you lovely people. Uh, I'm doing devotional. I'm going to start doing these every, I think it's going to be every Wednesday probably. So I'm going to try this. This is my first devotional that I have ever done, I believe. So here we go. So in Genesis, it shows that while other creations such as animals and vegetation were made by God, speaking them into existence, like you know, God just said it and it happened. He kind of did something different with humans. He handcrafted us. If you think about it, people will often pay more money for something that is handcrafted. For instance, if you're buying a table and someone carved it, or you have the option of buying one from Walmart, they, if money wasn't an issue, would you buy the pretty handcrafted one with all the probably pretty designs on it, or would you buy the one that's like, just basic, Walmart? No offense to Walmart, I'm sure they're amazing. I mean, I, we go there often in my family. But I personally, I love the cool wood carvings. I love thinking, how the heck does someone do that, you know? It's kind of like the same thing with God. He'll be like, he, he handcrafts us, which means we're worth more. Because someone will pay a lot more for a woodcrafted item than something from Walmart. Like a handcrafted woodwork thing, you know? So it's the same thing. God made us, he made us valuable. And since we weren't just spoken into existence, he actually puts thought and time and detail into us. And that makes us more valuable. But humans are special to God. He gave us free will. He gave us the, the souls and the, he made heaven for us. I also love how God spent time to make sure that we looked like him. We were made in his image. And in the Bible, it actually says like, we're made in his image, but it also says that we were made in his image, all of us. God kind of has a feminine side if you think about it. Because if everyone was made in his image, that means girls were made in his image too. And I don't think it's just the physical sense, you know? I think he has a feminine side. Some examples of things that are better when it comes from a different place, just to kind of give a few examples. I think, well, let's go with food. Since I'm hungry right now. More like off brands maybe, like, I like Cheetos, but I don't really love cheese doodles or like any like off-brand that you can think of of Cheetos because they just don't taste right. And Cheetos don't already, like already don't taste right, but they're a good kind of don't taste right, you know what I mean? Yeah, it tasted okay, it just wasn't the same. God used the finest materials when he made us. He got up close and personal and he did a sculptor's knife and sculpted us into perfection. I personally, I want to be me and I want to be, I just, I don't want to fit into a mold. I want to be my own person. And God, he created us with like individual quirks and flaws and dreams and he placed us here with a purpose. And he, he meant to make us like this. He meant to handcraft us. We're unique and just the way he wants us to be. So maybe next time you think you might, you might feel worthless. Um, just remember, you're, one, you're not, and two, God handcrafted you. You are the nice, pretty, sculpted table, and you don't really want to be a Walmart table. So, I challenge you guys, anybody who watches this, to either share it or like it or like comment that stuff's all cool but go tell someone don't be a walmart table just don't be a walmart table it'll spark good conversation and you know or you could just like leave them wondering and they'll just be like why do i be a walmart table and then you know <laughs> you just have this laugh to yourself cool don't be a walmart table guys <laughs>
Remember to ask your friends to watch our videos at Second Words Ministry on YouTube.